New Mexico chili or New Mexican chili Spanish, Chile de Nuevo Mexico, Chile del Norte is a group of cultivars of the chili pepper from the U.S. state of New Mexico, first grown by Pueblo and Hispano communities throughout Santa Fe de Nuevo Mexico. The modern peppers were developed by pioneer horticulturist Fabian Garcia at New Mexico State University in 1894, then known as the New Mexico College of Agriculture and Mechanic Arts. The New Mexico chili peppers, which typically grow from a green to a ripened red, are popular in the cuisine of the southwestern United States, the broader Mexican cuisine, and an integral staple of New Mexican cuisine. The chili pepper is one of New Mexico's state vegetables, and is referenced in the New Mexico state question, red or green. Chili grown in the Hatch Valley, in and around Hatch, New Mexico, is called Hatch Chili, but no one cultivar of chili is specific to that area, which is smaller than the acreage used to produce chilies with the Hatch label. The peppers grown in the valley, and along the entire Rio Grande, from northern Taos Pueblo to southern Isleta Pueblo, are a signature crop to New Mexico's economy and culture. The New Mexico green chili pepper flavor has been described as lightly pungent similar to an onion, or like garlic with a subtly sweet, spicy, crisp, and smoky taste. The ripened red retains the flavor, but adds an earthiness and bite while aging mellows the front heat and delivers more of a back heat. The spiciness depends on the variety of New Mexico chili pepper. History Many types of peppers were first grown by Pueblo residents, who continue to grow their own peppers each with a distinct pungency, sweetness, taste, and heat. For example, the Zia Pueblo pepper has a bitter sweet flavor when it matures into its red color. When the Spanish arrived, they introduced European cultivation techniques to the chili pepper, and eventually created cultivars in their towns. The New Mexican type cultivars were developed by pioneer horticulturist Fabian Garcia, whose major release was the New Mexico No. 9 in 1913. These cultivars are hotter than others to suit the tastes of New Mexicans in their traditional foods. Selective breeding began with 14 lineages of Pasilla, Colorado, and Negro cultivars, from throughout New Mexico and southern Colorado. These first commercially viable peppers were created to have a larger, smoother, fleshier, more tapering and shoulderless pod for canning purposes. Internationally renowned expert on chili genetics, breeding, and germplasm evaluation, Paul Bosland, founded the Chili Pepper Institute at New Mexico State University to study New Mexico's iconic state vegetable and peppers from around the world. Cultivation New Mexico chili peppers are grown from seeds, and each of the individual pepper types is specifically bred and grown to be disease-resistant and provide consistent and healthy plants within their specific regions. Altitude, climate, soil, and acreage affects a crop's taste and heartiness, making the New Mexican region unique for plant propagation. The Rio Grande Bosque, mountains, and high deserts provide the appropriate regional environment for growing chilies. To ensure that a variety's lineage remains disease-resistant and maintains optimal growth within its heritage region, seeds from specific plants are carefully selected. An example of a New Mexican chili grown outside the state is the Anaheim pepper which are extremely resilient in multiple altitudes. A quirky aspect of the New Mexico chili pepper regards reintroducing seeds from their heritage soil since each successive generation becomes susceptible to disease and it loses its flavor. Therefore, chili pepper farmers usually order seeds from their heritage soils, every few generations, to reinvigorate their crop. This allows the New Mexico chili pepper growers to perpetuate successful productions. Seed distributors and sellers from New Mexico, California, and Colorado provide this service to farmers. New Mexico chili peppers grown in New Mexico are the most sought after, since their flavor, texture, and hardiness are heavily dependent on their growing environment. The peppers were originally grown by the Pueblo, and each of their distinct Pueblo peppers grows best in its heritage soil. This same trend has continued with other New Mexico chili peppers, those grown by the farmers among the Spanish, Mexican, and American frontiersmen. Among the New Mexico-grown chili peppers, the ones with the most accolades are grown along the Rio Grande, especially along the Hatch Valley. A certification program was started in 2014, New Mexico Certified Chili, attempting to certify the growing of New Mexico chili peppers. 
The program tries to protect New Mexico chili consumers from falsely labeled products, while protecting farmers from a potential diminishing of demand, and to allow larger amounts of New Mexico chili to be grown within the state. Since the program is rather new, it has garnered some criticism, especially in regard to restricting smaller farmers who have been growing peppers from lineages of more than 400 years of seeds. Hatch chili Hatch chili refers to varieties of species of the genus Capsicum which are grown in the Hatch Valley, an area stretching north and south along the Rio Grande from Array, New Mexico, in the north to Tonuco Mountain to the southeast of Hatch, New Mexico. The soil and growing conditions in the Hatch Valley create a unique terroir which contributes to the flavor of chili grown there. Most of the varieties of chili cultivated in the Hatch Valley have been developed at New Mexico State University over the last 130 years. Hatch chili can be purchased locally in many parts of the Southwest. Some distributors use the Hatch name, but do not actually grow and process their chilies in the Hatch Valley. To protect Hatch and other New Mexican growers, state legislators passed a 2012 law prohibiting the sale in New Mexico of peppers described as New Mexican. Unless they were grown in New Mexico or came with a prominent, not grown in New Mexico. Disclaimer. Chilies grown around the town are marketed under the name of the town, and are often sold fresh roasted in New Mexico and neighboring states in the early autumn. <inaudible> Pueblo chilies Pueblo chilies have been cultivated by the Puebloan peoples of New Mexico for centuries. The Acoma Pueblo chili pepper is mild, with a lightly flavorful pungency. The Isleta Pueblo chili pepper develops a fruity sweet flavor as it grows into its red chili state. The Zia Pueblo chili pepper develops a bitter sweet flavor when it matures into its red color, and its heat is similar to the Heritage 6 to 4. These ancient Pueblo varieties should not be confused with chili peppers grown in Pueblo, Colorado, a variety of the Guajillo chili, otherwise known as the Mirasol pepper. They are distinct in and of themselves, but are not related to New Mexico chili. <inaudible> Rio Grande chili Along the rest of the Rio Grande, outside of the Hatch Valley, multiple other locations grow award-winning chilies in their own right. Towns and cities across New Mexico have strong chili traditions, including, Chimeo, Española, Corrales, La Mitter, and San Antonio, and from Bosque Farms to Los Ranchos de Albuquerque in the Albuquerque area. Outside of New Mexico Anaheim pepper An Anaheim pepper is a mild variety of the cultivar New Mexico no. 9 and commonly grown outside of New Mexico. It is related to the New Mexico No. 6 and 9, but when grown out of state they have a higher variability rate. The name Anaheim derives from Emilio Ortega, a farmer who brought the seeds from New Mexico to the Anaheim, California, area in 1894. The chili heat of Anaheim varies from 500 to 2500 on the Scoville scale. Topic Uses Topic Food Green chilies are served roasted and peeled, whole or diced, and in various sauces. The most common uses for these diced chilies, or sauces, is in enchiladas, burritos, burgers, french fries, or rice. They are also served whole raw or as fried or baked chilies rellenos. New Mexican-style chilies rellenos follow the much more traditional Mexican technique of being covered with egg batter and fried, although variations and casseroles do exist. In addition to local restaurants, many national food chains such as McDonald's and Jack in the Box offer green chili on many of their menu items. The red chili, the matured green chili, is frequently dried and ground to a powder. These dried or powdered peppers are turned into a red chili sauce. The dried peppers are rehydrated by boiling in a pot, and then blended with various herbs and spices, such as onion, garlic, and occasionally Mexican oregano. 
The red chili powder is usually simply blended with water, herbs, and spices. Serving both red and green chili sauces on a dish is sometimes referred to as Christmas style. Both green and red chili can be dried and turned into a powder, though this is more common with red chili. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Roasting. Chili roasting refers to roasting of green chilies, most commonly occurring during harvest season in autumn throughout New Mexico. The process can be done at the time of purchase, in an oven horno, or at home. The commercial process, done at purchase, usually involves an operator taking the part as chili roaster which involves standing near and turning a cylindrical cage drum over propane-fueled flames, ensuring the chili pods are heated on every side, as they shed their skins. This ensures the chili skins blister appropriately, to allow for easier peeling of the chili. This process is the most popular method, since the smell has become a staple during the early New Mexican autumn, it offers a physical display of the chili, it offers the sound of the chili's crackling, the sight of the blistering and falling skins, accompanied by the widely distributed smell of the roasting peppers. Horno roasting the chilies, while done less often, is a traditional method of roasting the chili. A more common method is simply roasting over an open flame on gas stove tops and grills. Art Aristra is an arrangement of drying chili pods, and is a popular decorative design in the state of New Mexico. Some households use ristras as a means to dry and procure red chili. The red and green chili peppers are often depicted in New Mexican artwork as symbols of New Mexican cuisine. Subcultivars. Though most New Mexico-type peppers are long pod-type peppers, that ripen from green to red, the multitude of New Mexico-type cultivars have a slight variance in taste, and widely varying appearances and heat levels. Some varieties may turn yellow, orange, or brown. The most common New Mexico chili peppers are the New Mexico 6-4, Big Jim, Sandia, No. 6, and No. 9 cultivars. The improved Heritage 6-4, Heritage Big Jim, and Sandia Select cultivars provide a better yield and uniformity. Peppers like the Chimeo, Velarde, Jemez, Escondida, Alcalde, San Felipe, Española, and several others, represent what is known as New Mexico's unique Landraza chilies, which provide their own unique tastes and usually command a higher price. <laughs> 